Hey Gemini and welcome to my channel. I'm doing your 12 month or 12 zodiac compatibility and love reading where this is headed in the month of June. Bottom of the deck will be your energy. Top of the deck uh, will be Aries through Pisces as we go through each one. Um, and we will see what the month of June has for you in love. So I think we're ready. I'm gonna take you down here. Alright, your guys' energy is the Three of uh, Pentacles, clarified by the Moon. And I am going to take the Six of Wands just because your clarifier was a major arcana. Alright, so your energy is wanting to build, wanting to build a solid base to, to, uh, to make a relationship successful. Uh, you have a lot of deep passion, a lot of deep love for um, who you are dealing with, and you see things going um, in a very successful direction. So if you are a Gemini dealing with an Aries, they are coming in fast, but be cautious because they could leave just as fast. Very um, non-committal, very, uh, there is some, you know, very passionate uh, sex here with the moon and the Knight of Wands. That is very romantic, very loving, very... Uh, just very good. <laughs> um, but this person is not ready to make a commitment. This person is not wanting to um, necessarily uh, begin building um, a like a long-term commitment with you. They will... Um, they do have a lot of feelings for you, but you can't rush this Aries. You will be together in the month of June. It will be great in the month of June. Just uh, don't pressure this person because the minute you, this person feels pressured, they're out just as fast as they came in. Um, just go with the flow, Gemini, and this will be successful for a long time as long as they don't feel like they're trying to be trapped. All right, if you're a Gemini dealing with a Taurus, they're opening up communication with you that you could have been blocked uh, from their life. Um, they could have had to figure out some things um, before they felt ready to communicate with you. The two of you um, in the month of June are going to be able to uh, begin to work on the future, work on um, putting things behind you that happened in the past and beginning to work on a successful connection. For those of you who have not been with this person yet, um, Gemini, you are meeting a Taurus um, in the month of June through your job, through your work, whether you work with them or you're just meeting them through work. But this is like being hit with Cupid's arrow. This is going to be beautiful, passionate, and romantic. Positive connection for Gemini and Taurus. If you're a Gemini dealing with a Gemini, one of you is heartbroken um, because of a third-party situation. Um, one of you had extra energy. Secrets are coming out about this third party, and the other one is uh, is very hurt by this um, by this third-party situation that you put them in. Decide which side you're on. This is coming to an end in the month of June. Um, you will successfully move on, Gemini. The other one will be in this time of um, sadness, kind of depression, um, for quite a little bit. Um, at least five weeks, five months. More like probably five weeks. Um, but, but you guys are finding success and moving forward. Um, after these secrets are able to come out, it's like almost like a relief that you no longer have to keep that hidden. If you are dealing with a cancer, they are very focused on work at the moment. They have a goal and they're not stopping until that goal is reached. Um, this person has a lot of perseverance, a lot of dedication. The two of you will work beautifully together. Excuse me. They may not, um, be focused on the relationship so much in June, but what they are doing in June, um, by the work they're doing, it is only going to bring the relationship um, closer and make it stronger when the two of you do come together. You guys are um, having a successful relationship in June, but um, their focus, main focus is going to be on the work they're doing, whether it be on themselves or like physical work. But um, this person is going to be bringing big things to the relationship. A lot of romance as well. Um, beautiful connection between Gemini and Cancer. You are dealing with a Leo. They're coming in in their element, in the upright. This person is passionate. This person is um, doesn't doesn't let 
anything stop them. They are very uh, persistent. Leos are very wanting to be with you, Gemini. Um, they see you as a very um, successful um, person in life, in, in work, in everything. They have a lot of deep feelings for you as well. These are coming to the surface. This Leo is taking action towards you, Gemini, and this will be very successful in uh, June and many, many months after that, if not years. Uh, a lot of a lot of uh, drive. This person has a lot of drive. They're going. They're going places, and they're taking you with them, Gemini. All right. If you are dealing with a Virgo, there could be a third-party situation here um, with the Three of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. Uh, yeah. Uh, though, however, I do feel that this Virgo um, is the two of you will be together. Um, so I'm not sure which one of you is a third party, but this is successfully coming together. Secrets um, are coming out about the relationship. Um, and they're not, not necessarily to everybody else, but they are... Uh, they are going to acknowledge their own feelings. They're no longer going to hide from their own feelings towards you. And the two of you will successfully come together in the month of June. Um, it will be a celebration for the two of you. Um, and the third party will come to an end. If you are dealing with a Libra, hello. Libra has a choice in love. And Libra is choosing you, Gemini. Um, this is a blessed union. This is a divine partnership when you have the lovers, the moon. Um, and the Six of Wands, this is going to successfully come together. The two of you um, are very connected to like the moon and the stars. There's something the two of you say to, to each other or have said to each other or that you did together when you were um, together in the past. Um, they could have walked away or you walked away, one of the two. But this Libra is coming back. They are choosing you, Gemini. Um, and there's some connection with the stars and the moon. Something you guys said to each other. Um, so th that'll, you'll know if that resonates with you, that this for sure is your Libra, but this is coming together. This is ending, um, in a marriage before the end of the year, moving very quickly. Um, both of you are ready to build this life together and it's, it's happening. If you are dealing with a Scorpio, they are overthinking some things and they, um, they have been pondering on this for quite some time. Uh, they are going to take action. Um, but I do feel they're cutting you out of their life, Gemini. For those of you dealing with a Scorpio who feel who seems very cold, very aloof, very distant, um, you know, not wanting to talk about their feelings, not wanting to talk about anything, but you can tell their wheels in their head are turning. Um, they are going to uh, move away from this connection because they feel that you're just you're being deceitful or that you're hiding something, possibly a third party. Um, I do see this coming back around though in the next six months for a second chance. So um, honesty is the best policy with this situation because um, chances are they already know anyways. They're waiting for you to come forward and tell them or vice versa. All right, if you're dealing with a Sagittarius, this is new, this is fun, this is... Uh, very passionate uh, messages, a lot of messages back and forth with the page of wands here. Um, but they're, they're deep messages. They're passionate messages. Um, the two of you could have a divine connection. Um, you know, you, them, and, you know, the Holy Spirit, the divine, the Holy Trinity. The two of you could work in the spiritual field together. Um, Besides that, there's a lot of deep emotions for the, the that run deep for the two of you. Um, this is going to be um, this relationship is headed towards success 100%. Um, you or them could be in the public eye, and you know, like people know them. Um, yeah, you could you two could um, both uh, work together in the public. Um, but this is also very connected. There are no secrets, no deceit here. Just very deep um, emotions that run through timelines. Like I'm seeing it run through timelines. So this is a soulmate of yours, a past life soulmate. You spent many lifetimes um, together. But this is this is new. This is fresh. You know, within the last six months, you three to six months, you met this person. Um, a lot of fun. June's going to be very successful with you. A lot of messages um, and possible travel. 
All right, if you're dealing with a Capricorn, um, they're feeling left out in the cold. They're feeling left in the dark. They feel you're intentionally keeping things from them. Um, you could um, be, they feel that, that you um, abandon them. Some of them feel you abandoned them for your job, for success. Um, but most importantly, they feel there's there's secrets here. There's deceit. And they're walking away from this connection. They're looking for the light. They're looking for, you know, the warmth of the church. They're getting themselves out of this darkness and walking away from the connection. I do see if you're dealing with a Capricorn in the month of June, this will be ending. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, you got the Page of Cups. They're coming in with a love offer. Um... It's, it doesn't seem like a huge love offer, but it's all they got at the time for the time being. There's something standing in the way of you two being totally committed. They have to get rid of whatever it is that's that fish in the cup, whatever that is. They have to get rid of that before they can fill the cup with 110% their effort, their love, their affection. Um, they do love you. They do want to be with you. There's just something in their life they have to um, ex nay out of before the two of you can come together. Um but they're very romantic, very romantic. And you, you see a, a good future with them. You see that this could go places, um, for the long haul. And you are right. This is, um, finding success in the month of June as well. If you are dealing with a Pisces, for those of you, um, who are engaged, you could be getting married in June. If you're not engaged, you could be getting engaged in June, but this person is very spiritual. The two of you will work beautifully together. The two of you mesh beautifully together. Um, they have a moon in uh, Taurus as well. For some of you, um, if they do have the moon in Taurus and um, yeah, if they are Pisces, sun, moon, or rising, and they have a moon in Taurus, it has to be a moon in Taurus, that is your twin flame. That is your soulmate, your life partner, your twin flame, all ro rolled up into one. This is a beautiful connection. Um, you also run through timelines, I'm seeing. But um, yeah, this is success of the twin flame union. So most definitely June is going to be a beautiful month for you guys, If especially if you're in separation. I don't know why I just separated the deck, but yes, that is true. This is your twin flame. If, you, um, if they have a Taurus and moon, a Taurus moon and a Pisces sun moon are rising. Um, much success. Moving on forward, the two of you have been enlightened. You're going to find success from the divine and coming together. This won't separate again. You've been together three times already in this lifetime, back and forth, back and forth. This is for the long haul now. This is um, reunion for good. So, all right, Gemini, I hope you enjoyed your 12-month Zodiac read for June. I will see you next time, and God bless.